In this video, we review Ponce Bank. Have you used Ponce Bank before? What was your experience? Leave your Ponce Bank review in the comments section below. Ponce Bank, based in New York, offers a variety of financial products that have garnered mixed reviews among users. With a focus on community banking, it has emerged as a competitive option, especially for individuals seeking accessible banking services. Notably, Ponce Bank boasts an impressive rate of 4.5% APY on its high-yield certificates of deposit, CDs, which is significantly higher than the national average. Furthermore, it is an FDIC member, ensuring that deposits are protected up to $250,000 per depositor. One of the main advantages of Ponce Bank is its range of checking accounts, including options that require no minimum balance and offer interest. The Simply Free Checking Account exemplifies this, presenting an uncomplicated solution without monthly fees. For those seeking to earn interest, the Direct Interest Checking Account allows customers to earn 0.05% APY without a minimum balance, which is appealing for those who prefer to maintain liquidity while still generating some interest. Additionally, Ponce Bank offers mobile banking services that facilitate easy fund transfers and account management enhancing the banking experience. However, despite its attractive offerings, Ponce Bank does have its drawbacks. Users have reported concerns regarding customer service, particularly in response times and the quality of assistance provided. Some customers noted that while online banking features are robust, navigating the app can be somewhat cumbersome. Moreover, while the interest rates on savings and CDs are competitive, the 0.10% APY on traditional savings accounts is only slightly above the national average, which may not be sufficient for those looking for higher returns. Another point of contention is the lack of physical branches outside of New York, which could be a disadvantage for customers who prefer in-person banking services. For those not residing in the immediate area, this may limit accessibility to certain banking needs. Additionally, while many customers appreciate the no-fee structure on several accounts, there are monthly fees associated with certain products if balance requirements are not met, which could be a deterrent for some users. In conclusion, Ponce Bank presents a compelling option for individuals looking for competitive rates on CDs and user-friendly banking services. Its mobile app and online banking features provide convenience for tech-savvy customers. However, Potential clients should weigh these advantages against the reported customer service issues and the limitations regarding branch access outside of New York. Those considering Ponce Bank would benefit from reviewing their specific banking needs to determine if the offerings align with their financial goals.